Hey everybody, I'm Steve Toth of SEOnotebook.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys something called prompt compression. You might have heard of it, but if you haven't, it's essentially being able to take a long prompt and compress the amount of tokens that are needed in the prompt in order for it to function. So this is useful for creating chat GPT bots which have an 8,000 character limit. And also if you're running any automations over and over, prompt compression can effectively save you money. So let me show you how it works. So to begin, I'm just gonna show you a the prompt that we're going to compress. So this is the patent analyzer that I created a few weeks ago. You upload a patent um, from Google and this bot goes to work and basically summarizes that patent for you. So if you want that uh, note, it'll be linked in the description. But this is just to illustrate what it does. So you can see basically it goes through the whole thing it compares the patent against the leak and basically summarizes that patent for you. Now, when I created this, um, and this is the back end right now, um, the prompt itself is over almost, almost at 8,000 characters. So basically, if I wanted to add any functionality to this, I simply can't because their chat GPT won't accept anymore. So what I'm gonna show you guys is how we actually compress this prompt. But first, let's look at how many characters it is, or how many tokens. So uh, 1666 tokens and just under uh, 8,000 characters, which is the limit. All right, so now um, what we're gonna use is something called LLM Lingua by Microsoft. This is the GitHub for it, and we've installed it on SEO Notebook at comp.seonotebook.com, which you can go to right now and use. So I'm gonna paste in the prompt, and I'm just simply going to say click Compress, and in a few moments, we're going to get a drastically reduced prompt, right? Uh, token size, right? So if I scroll up to the top, we can kind of see the differences here. Um, it, instead of saying URA, it just says GPT model to analyze. Your task is just um, task to evaluate. So it basically takes out and strips out all the unnecessary words that um, ChatGPT does not need in order to interpret the prompt. And let's uh, actually go and try this in a new GPT bot. So now we're in uh, this prompt analyzer compressed and I've already uploaded that same PDF and let's upload it and let's see what, what happens. Okay, I'm a grammarly thing here. I don't know how to get rid of that. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, yes, always, <laughs> whoops. Um, but anyway, we can see now that the the prompt works in pretty much exactly the same way. And now because that prompt is compressed and it's you know closer to 1200 tokens versus 1700 tokens, I can effectively add more functionality to this prompt. So basically you can do more with less um, through prompt, prompt compression. So you know it's right here before your eyes. This is totally um, you know created a new version of that GPT bot with fewer tokens. So if you want to try that for yourself, just head over to comp.seonotebook.com and you can just put in any prompt and make it smaller. So that's the note today. It's all about prompt compression. If you like this tip, head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. All right, we'll see you guys next time.